So today I'm going to show you how to FTP into your Xbox 360 RGH or JTAG console using the Aurora dashboard. The first thing we're going to do is click the start button on our controller. We're going to go down to modules, then over to FTP server. And we can see here, these are the details, so port 21, and the username is Xbox FTP. Now we can leave these as they are, but the thing we need to change is the password. This is for security and also so we know the password when we FTP into the console from our computer. You can set this to whatever you like. Um, I'm going to set mine to TMS for the mudsmith. Then click done. And then we can exit out of this. Click the Xbox guide button. And then we need to go over to System Settings to get our console's local IP address. Once we're in System Settings, go down to Network Settings. Click on the Wi-Fi or Ethernet that you are connected to. Click Configure Network. And the thing we're looking for here is the IP address. So it's going to start in 192.168. And you can see here mine ends in 0.1.189 and that is the address that we're going to need. So now we have this information, let's go over to the computer and connect to the console. So over here on the computer we will open up FileZilla. You should also remember to launch back into Aurora Dashboard as this will only work and connect properly if you're in that app. Any other homebrew or the original Xbox Dashboard, the server will not be open to connect to. Over here we're going to click on Site Manager, we're going to click New Site, and I'm going to call mine Xbox RGH. Over here where it says Host, that's the IP address we found from the system settings. So mine was 192.168.1.189. The port is 21, and the username is Xbox FTP by default. The password is the password that we chose, so mine was TMS. And now with all that information filled in, we can click Connect. And you can see here that we get these directories. Game, HDD1, HDDX, System, Exit, and System. HDD1, and this is the full contents of your hard drive, the user partition. So any games, any homebrew, this is where you'll put them on. So you can see in my games folder, I have GTA 5. Homebrew is all my dash launches, my compact fixes, my NAND flashes. And you can also edit the launch.ini, which is the configuration file that dash launch um, runs on default. So all these settings are not accessible in the dash launch app but through FTP we can change them. So you can see here the plugins, what we'd usually change in Dash Launch, we can now change here. So if I wanna get rid of RPC, I just get rid of this here, save the document, close it, and tick finish editing and delete local file, and click yes. And now when we rebuild the console, that will be changed. So that's it, that's how you FTP into your Xbox RGH console. If you found this video helpful, leave a comment, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.